Hey guys, it is me, Shane Davis, Twitchy or Comic Book Veteran. I'm here with Yancy Lin, and today we are going to unveil the comic book industry's plans for Pride Month this year. But before we get into it, I'd like to remind you that Inglorious Rex Volume 2 is up and funding on Nine Lives Comics and Indiegogo. If you would rather spend your money on monsters beating each other up and trying to save the world from the vile and apocalyptic force pushing humanity to extinction, maybe go back to this book. I'll leave you guys with this trailer. Uh, So that is for our second chance. Um, we are talking to printers now and getting ready to go to print. So if you want your copy, reserve one today at Nine Lives Comics or Indiegogo. So Joe Glass, my bookie in bio. Let's get into it. Oh, that is that's cringy cute. My bookie in bio. I can't just say book in bio. But okay, whatever. So Joe says, before anyone asks, as those solicits are coming soon and I get asked every year. No, I am not in either Marvel or DC Pride books this year. Don't know why. They just don't want me. So before we get into that, let me just ask one question. And that is, he gets asked every year by yeah. who? By his mother, maybe. That's the whole thing. I look at what Marvel and DC is doing for um token pandering month year, every month of every year. And never do I say, hey... It's Pride Month. Are they hiring Joe Glass? I don't think that exists. I am aware of who this person is and the books they do in crowdfunding comics. And I never have I thought to myself, is he getting picked for Pride Month? I don't know if anybody does that, actually. And actually, you probably don't have good friends if they only think of you in one month of the year. Mm -hmm. So he is right, though. Information is coming out slowly for the Pride specials. Marvel has unveiled that they're doing a Mystic and Destiny one-shot in the Marvel's Voices Pride this year. Meanwhile, there's absolutely no 2024 DC Pride Month news yet. So I don't know. Maybe it won't be Pride yet this time around. But anyway, Shane is correct. Why do you want to be the kind of writer that people only think about you only when it comes to one very specific scenario? We know that Joe Glass's Kickstarters haven't exactly been making waves or anything. So I'm wondering who is this imaginary audience that comes knocking on his door every single year saying, hey, when are you going to get included in the anthology? So obviously at this point when he says, are coming soon. So he's trying to say, mm, hey, Marvel DC, why aren't you hiring me, an openly gay creator? See, Joe, here's the thing. Being gay is not special anymore in the industry, I hate to say. You guys wave these labels around like, almost like it's a way of saying, hey, if you hire me, you get whatever, you know, credentials or something. It's like, gay is not special anymore, Joe. And he's literally branding himself as like, my books are gay. I write about gay. And why doesn't Marvel and DC appreciate me for being gay and then include me into the one month a year that they're going to make a Pride special? Now, last year was a big year for gay creators. Queer folk, as they like to say, um, if you were a comic creator, I mean, there was tons of characters being switched all over the place, and that was your time to shine. I want to paint it metaphorically. Imagine being a professional mall Santa, and you're like, I hope this year I have the perfect beard and the perfect belly, and I get to be picked to be the mall Santa, and then you don't get to be. Actually, they don't even want you standing on the side of the corner jingling a bell, and then you still... You're relentless. You're like, ah, it's going to be the best mall Santa ever next year. And it doesn't happen. And then the next year, and it doesn't happen. And 
Maybe you just weren't cut out to be the mall Santa, you know, maybe kids don't like you. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It, it's just like, why would you dedicate 12 months a year to be something you're only useful for one month of the year, according to the mall? In this case, Marvel and DC, they only really want you one month of the year. And that's just a virtue signal as an evil mega corporation, mind you, and use you. Like, why would you care that much to be used by a mega corporation? I worked for DC Comics and Marvel Comics 20 plus years. Never do I go, will they remember me this month? Will they take advantage of me this month? I don't think like that anymore. And actually, eh, I mean, it, I love the comics and the characters I've worked in. But I, in the end of the day, they're an evil corporation that really uh, want to hire you and print your stuff and own your work and your creations and really not give you anything in return. I have a hard time understanding why a creator, it doesn't matter if you're gay, what color you are, any of that. Why would you want to be exploited like that by a mega corporation? And my only advice to Joe is that maybe instead of waving the fact that you belong to the Pride community, for example, the rainbow flag and your username, why not just advertise yourself as a writer of all genres? Why just say, I'm a great gay writer? Um, okay, sure, but that kind of limits the kind of books you can work on, you realize. Right. Going back to the mall metaphor, why not be mall security and have a job <laughs> every month of the year? You know, why why pick the one job that you're useful one month of the year? You know, think about it, Joe. If you guys will hit like, subscribe, ring the bell for notification. Let us know in the comments what you think. And please share the video out. Help the channel grow. And we'll catch you guys again with another video.